All right, guys, not the greatest opening tee shot I've ever hit down here, but we're on the golf course. It is Friday the 22nd of October, it's 4.20 p.m. This is probably gonna be my last nine after work before winter sets in. I'll tell you the date so that you know why there's leaves on the trees still and you're watching this in late December or whenever it comes out. So I'm gonna do a bit of chat as I walk. Can't do it stood over the ball. I gotta get a move on. So uh, we'll talk between shots, shall we? If I could hit this fairway, I'd be deadly. Yeah, can't find this first fairway for love and the money. Although I haven't warmed up again, there's no time. When you're playing evening golf in late October, you just get straight on the tee. And you've got to take the score as it comes. Back on the phone tonight. I think it's slightly more intelligent in low light. I know that the Canon has got a thousand buttons on it that I could press that would probably improve it, but I'm a bloke. I'm not going to learn that stuff, am I? Plus, there's been a promise of the odd shower, so I think the phone does a little bit better in the wet as well. Ah, left myself a little pitch. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. Right, I had a range session Wednesday night. After work, it started getting dark. So we went up to the pro shop, can you put the lights on? And they said, we can't, the timer's broken. It's set to come on at seven, you'll have to wait till seven. Well, seven was about an hour and a half away. So the second half of my range session and everyone else there was in the dark. So I guess I'm not going back there. Especially about 10% of the balls you put straight in the bin anyway because they're all cracked or bald with no dimples on them they really need to get on top of that that is terrible wasn't bad but the wind just blew it across. Who says practicing ain't worth doing? Almost said something else there. They're all feeling a little bit old and a little bit stiff this evening. Right, going down the fourth now. At least I hit it in the right direction, even if I'm slapping it a bit. 
Hang on, let me get you on the other arm. I got a bit of RSI from too much damn work. So I was asked, where's the guys? Why aren't I getting the guys on the videos anymore? And quite simply, it's impossible here. Let's get off the path. It was fine at Tewkesbury because they had no members. So, uh, or very few members. So you had an empty golf course, you had millionaires golf. This isn't the case here. Now I asked Big Oggy, you know John, hi John. I asked Big Oggy, how did he get everybody on everybody, everybody's shots? He says it takes six to seven hours to film a round of golf. I can't do that. <coughs> Firstly, my back won't last six or seven hours. It's a three hour back at the best of times. Secondly, I couldn't ask my mates to do that, even if we had an empty golf course. You know, I spoke to Curly about it last weekend and he said, no mate, we're not doing that. So what you're left with is just me on my own, attempting my best to provide a bit of golf to watch. All right, I can do the golf bit, I can play golf, but it's the other bits which are a bit hard for me. Bloody enjoyed that one. Yeah, you know, my son showed me a channel last night that he was watching. Four people, four cameras, four people on those cameras, so they didn't have to worry about the cameras. Just a sec. Yeah, it makes your ears ring that does, doesn't it? And obviously somebody who knows all about computers doing the editing. I can't compete with that. It's just me with a phone or my camera. No banter. Because even if I was here with my mates, we wouldn't be doing the fake banter anyway. I mean, there'd be some chat, but it'd be just normal run of the mill chat. So no humor other than what I can think of on the spur of the moment. I'm not exactly very animated over my golf shots or even holding a birdie putt. I can't do that either, you know, I can't do fake. Oh. So this is it, this is me, the camera, my golf. And if you don't like it, I'm... it's a shame, but that's all I can offer you. I keep forgetting to crank the driver for the winter. I have it nine and a half summer and ten and a half winter. I, I know that probably doesn't. So where am I turning it? I know that probably doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but it kind of like makes the difference inside my head. So I feel a little more confident that I'm going to hit a slightly better ball in the winter. So. Job done. But you can't do that in a competition, as you well know. So, for the moment, it's just going to be me, which limits my growth on YouTube. I've been stuck between 850 and 855 for a little while now, and it's just it's just stopped moving. In fact, it's, it's going backwards. I think I've lost three subscribers in two weeks, something like that. Okay, I get that, I'm not bothered. But I don't think I've got anything better to offer than what I'm doing. Unless, of course, I can play golf with a big YouTuber. And if that happens, 
then you know I could gain thousands overnight, four or five thousand overnight quite easily. So March in Thailand is very, very important for me. Not just the holiday, not just the golf, not just the temples and the elephants and all the other activities I get up to. That sounds bad, doesn't it? What I mean by all the other activities, I mean the places I go and visit and see. But, yeah, if I can get a game with Golf Psychic, who knows what can happen. One of the things I've got to be aware of is making promises I can't keep. You know, the, you must go and play this golf course, it's brilliant. Please come and my, play my golf course. Uh, if I actually make promises to people, they're very, very difficult to keep. When I went and played with Neil at Hurlston Hall and we said, yeah, let's do this again. But after I got home just before midnight, I was thinking, Bloody hell, I don't want to do that again. Because I'd have been up at the crack of dawn. So, of course I want to play with Neil again at Hurlston Hall. Who wouldn't? It was a great golf course. I'd like to go back. I'd like to crack that nut. But it's just too difficult. It's too hard. And I'm getting old now. Sort of. Well, not the best golf this evening. Not really surprising, is it, really? You know, uh, come up straight after work, once a week golf, jump straight onto the tee, no warm-up. Still, it's better here than in other places. Playing Sunday, but it looks like rain. You know, making videos is going to be quite a bit harder from now on. Saturdays and Sundays are going to be very busy. It's going to be difficult to get, actually get on the golf course in autumn. Plus I'm working a six day week, so I've really only got one day a week to actually play golf. Got my next lesson on the 1st of November. I'm not going to record that. I'm not going to go mad with the lessons. I've shown you one. I think one's enough. a few problems with the setup tonight because I didn't warm up and I looked down on that and I thought that ball's too far back you're gonna hit that right so um, I hit it right how dumb are we as golfers we do this to ourselves all the time but I think I've hit it badly enough that it's not actually in the bunker so let's get our up and down it took me ages to find that with all these leaves, which is why I play with uh, potatoes this time of year. 
all the good balls get put away. It sat down, I got about 35 yards. It's as ugly as sin. Not bad, but it's just a hair big. Yes! Christ! Now that's a save. 35 yards from the rubbish and a downhill right to left there. I guess I'm not so bad after all, eh? I think the guy in front is hitting multiple balls because he's backwards and forwards across the fairway, which gives me time to talk. I'll tell you what's sad, and that is the number of small YouTube channels which didn't make it through COVID. You know, they just started pre-COVID. They were in the 30 to 75 subscriber range. They were still finding their feet their style. I haven't found my style yet. I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. But people came back from three months lockdown trying to find their golf game. So the YouTube hobby got dropped in favor of trying to play golf. And then we had another lockdown and then we had another lockdown for three months. So we lost seven months in a, like a 15 month period. So People are focusing on playing golf rather than recording golf, which, which was a shame because I did enjoy some of those smaller guys and try to support them as best I could. Right, we're clear. Yeah, really struggling with this shoulder. It is so painful. You know, I'm bashing the keyboard six days a week from now until Christmas. So what's that? Another another ten weeks. So I'd have done fourteen weeks of six day week. It's not doing me any good, but uh, that's life. It's funny as you get older, where you think that you would be more comfortable financially actually you're less comfortable financially and you find yourself working more hours than you did when you were 25 crazy isn't it yeah I knew that shot was going to bite me one day <laughs> And today was the day. Don't think it helps the left shoulder doing this, do you? But as we're short of time, I gotta talk and walk. Plenty of daylight, it probably just doesn't show that well on the camera, especially when you're looking directly into the sun. But, you know, this is my hobby. I do it part time. And it's gotta fit it in when you can fit it in. And, when you're two thirds of the way through October, or more than two thirds, then you get what you get. But at least I'm out here. Think of the other people who aren't out here right now. So, one man and his camera and a bit of golf. That's basically what I've got to offer. It's not a lot, but then, a hell of a lot better than all those who criticize but never try.
what is it about this hole that brings the best out of me and my driving? That's monstered. Absolutely monstered. That's 30 yards past anything I've hit tonight. That was 281 yards. Okay, so the last bit is gently downhill, so I've got a little bit of run out. But uh, not bad for an old man. I think that's a little short, but I didn't want to mess with a back flag by taking an extra club. Such is life. Well, I'm not sure of the time, but I think there's just enough daylight left for a tiny bit of the back nine. See, last weekend, came out on the Sunday, played with Curly, and his battery died after about five or six holes, so then he's pushing the trolley. And uh, there was no way he was gonna push the trolley up the hill. It would have killed him. So uh, I haven't seen the back nine in a while. So I'm going to dash up 12 after this and then come down 18 because I haven't been down 18 in a while. And that tee shot, you need confidence and you're getting confidence by playing it regular. So uh, I say cheerio and I'll see you on the 18th. I might even walk the 12th actually. I'll check on my watch, see what the time is. Oh. All right, guys. So I've walked from the ninth screen all the way up to 18 here and I'm a little out of breath. Plenty of daylight up here because we're so much higher up. But when we get down onto the green, it's going to be as black as the inside of my hat. You're not going to be able to see much, but uh, so what? Quarter past six. I bet there's guys right now left the office, stuck in traffic, not going to get home till gone seven. I'm a really lucky person, aren't I? Cheerio. I didn't see it. It felt a bit over the top and a, felt a bit of a left to right ball flight, but I didn't hear it in the woods, so uh, might be okay. <laughs> 